are live of the situation on the Clark Memorial Bridge. This truck is hanging off the side of the bridge and you can see right now a rescue operation is underway. Louisville Fire Department. It looks as though they have another person with that firefighter who is currently dangling right now attached to a ladder truck that is stationed on the bridge. We've been monitoring this situation really ever since we came on the air here live at noon. We were told at one point that there was a possibility of a driver still being in the cab of that truck. Since that time, we have seen a rescue operation taking place where firefighters have been trying to get a person out. And now you can see they are raising that person up over the ledge towards the uh, bridge itself. Now again, we want to stress these are live images we are showing you. We had delayed showing you live images early be while the scene continued to play out. The second street bridge as of right now we know is completely shut down in both directions. LMPD saying that it will be shut down for a period of time. Now we are watching the dramatic scenes right now. Again, a lot of this was what we saw at the beginning of the 12 o'clock newscast. We had word of a semi truck that had um, fallen or come off the Clark Memorial Bridge was hanging off and we've been monitoring it ever since. Again, LFD now on the bridge undergoing a rescue operation as they're trying to get that driver to safety who had been hanging off in the cab of that truck. Now we are again live pictures at this point. You can see firefighters continuing to raise them up. This shot I will tell you is coming up from underneath the bridge. We have another camera here in studio that is looking at it more from an above angle. And so while it looks like they have cleared the railing of that bridge, it is not the case as of yet. They are still trying to get high enough to get to safety and eventually bring that driver and the firefighter back on to the bridge. This uh, very dramatic scene, uh, just making sure you can understand the gravity. We are again going to be watching this scene for a while. Just taking a quick pause there to try to allow the gravity of the situation to kind of set in. This again, very active scene. We are now um, continuing to get a better a look from our camera down there underneath the Clark Memorial Bridge. It looks like they're moving, so we're gonna take the shot now from one of our traffic cams. You can see what I was telling you earlier. When you look at the above angle, they are still not quite above the Clark Memorial Bridge yet. They are trying to get everybody to safety. LFD have a ladder truck out there. This is the apparatus they have been using for the last, let's say 15, 10, 15 minutes to try to get a driver or a, a firefighter down there to get the driver out of this truck. Again, I wanna to stress to you, what you are watching right now are live images of the Clark Memorial Bridge as a rescue operation is underway. This, uh, a scene that we really, a terrifying scene to, when you take a wide look at it and see just how close this truck was to uh, something absolutely catastrophic. I want to join, I uh, want to welcome Brooke Hash out to the desk with me joining right now. Brooke, this is something we've been watching for really since the noon kicked off. This is a developing situation and this really the, the, the pinnacle of what we've been watching right now. Yeah, I'm still kind of shaken because all of us are in the newsroom. Everything else is just kind of stopped. It's been mm -hmm. at a standstill because, I mean, you're taking a look at this video. Yeah. And you are, what we heard was possibly a woman, mm -hmm. a female who was the driver in this truck. This is a Cisco truck, as you saw. Mm -hmm. We don't know how much food, you know, what is in that. But you can just imagine being that driver and for the last hour. Yeah, better part of an hour at this point. Just Has hanging. been just staring down at the Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, so what a magnificent, I mean, you're still seeing this as we speak, still hanging on. But, um, and what we've noticed here in the last few minutes is the ladder truck seems to be retracting, pulling them back towards right. the bridge. So it appears that they're high enough at this point. Now it's just a matter of getting themselves back to the bridge itself. And you can see the mob of firefighters standing on the edge there, waiting for them to get close enough to try to pull both of those, the firefighter and that driver to safety. Right. I just, I can't imagine the, the type of phone call that was being had in the cab of that truck. Um, just, just knowing, we have no idea how 
the trailer. Yes. If it's just within inches of slipping. Yep. Um, if they've been able to anchor that somehow just to make sure that it didn't move. It, 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 in, as you mentioned, this is a Cisco truck. We don't know how much food may have been on it. The balance and the weight distribution in that truck is something that these firefighters would have had to take into immediate account um, while they were trying to create this rec rescue operation. Um, again, dramatic scenes continuing to play out. Uh, we do know that one of our reporters, Jose Alonso, is on scene right now near the Second Street Bridge. I want to go ahead and get to Jose and see exactly what he is seeing at this point. Jose, if you can hear me, 